In amongst all of the screens and the cars and all the other weird stuff here at CES, there are plenty of home appliances too. Some of them can roam around by themselves these days. But have you ever wondered how they find their way about? Well, many of the modern ones use something called simultaneous location and mapping. For short, SLAM. Modern domestic and industrial robots are not just bump and go, you know. They need to build up a map of where they live to make sure each spring cleaning isn't a brand new voyage of rediscovery that means they might forget the occasional nook and cranny. One common way to scan your surroundings is LiDAR, which uses a spinning laser to determine the distance to everything around you. But LiDAR has its shortcomings. The problem with LiDAR is if you want high performance, they're extremely expensive, it can be thousands of dollars, so that's not going to cut it for commercial products at all in the consumer space. But then the low cost ones, which you see on many of the consumer products out there, just are very unreliable, they degrade over time, and they also capture a tiny amount of spatial information compared to the amount of information you capture with a camera. We're able to access that spatial information, but using very low-cost processes and silicon. This vacuum robot is running new software developed by SlamCore, which builds up a map using vision instead of LiDAR. This allows the software to more intelligently work out not just how far it is from stuff, but what that stuff is, and whether it's likely to stay there. When it knows where it is, it needs to know what are the obstacles in its way, where is it free space, is it going to crash if it tries to go through a certain space. The next level of spatial intelligence is knowing how the world around you is shaped, just from a geometry point of view, so knowing what's occupied space and what's not. Once the software's labelled everything, it can do different things with the information. For example, if it's committing the layout of your flat to memory, it might want to remove objects it knows aren't permanent, like books and other stuff that's strewn around, or even people that it's encountered on its travels, like me. Don't worry about the look of this particular vacuum bot. At the moment, it's wearing a low-cost stereo camera and inertial sensor on its head. But the plan is for these to be integrated into vacuum cleaners, drones, and other autonomous devices in the future. The point here is that a few low-cost peripherals are all devices like this would need to collect enough data to feed Owen's software, which is the real breakthrough here. A really small, tight neural network, lightweight enough to be stored in the device, that can label everything and work out how to respond to different types of objects. One of the big benefits of a robot or a machine knowing the objects it's encountering is it may choose to modify its behaviour depending on the type of object that is. So, for example, a drone may see a person and want to keep a really wide berth because there could be a safety risk there. But if it's trying to get through a door or somewhere a bit more narrower where there's only inanimate objects around, then it can have a much smaller safety margin to be able to make it through. Plenty of ways, then, for a new way of navigating the world to help you to clean up.